In the world of Ivalis, the Arcadian Empire invades the Kingdom of Dalmasca, assassinating their king moments after signing a peace treaty and frames the Dalmascan Captain Bosk for this heinous crime. Two years later, a young street rat named Vaughn sneaks into the Ravenaster Palace during a celebration dinner for the Arcadian Prince to steal a powerful magic crystal known as Magicite. Immediately after stealing the Magicite, two Sky Pirates named Balthier and Fran show up to procure the Magicite for themselves. However, the Dalmascan resistance force led by Ash, the former princess of the Rabinaster city, start attacking the palace so Vaughn and the Sky Pirates try to escape but are captured after crashing into the sewers. As the story progresses, you get to bear witness to how corrupt government officials can be. The battle system is the active dimension battle system which uses gambits to basically set macros for your characters so that they auto fight during battles. You can still manually select to attack and use items and such, but for the later part of the game, you'll mainly just walk up to an enemy, set the controller down, and wait for the battle to be over before playing again. There is also a license board which you have to own the license to equip your weapons and armor, use magic, perform your special quickening attacks, and summon espers. In the Zodiac Age, you are now able to assign job roles to your characters so that they can specialize in specific fields instead of having every character being able to do everything everyone else can. The game has a 20.1% completion rate with only a 2.6% platinum success rate, meaning that 12.9% of those who beat the game manage to get the platinum trophy. The rarest trophy to get is Scrivener, which you have to kill every enemy in the game, meaning all of the espers, hunter's marks, bosses, rare enemies, and regular enemies, which comes out to roughly 385 enemies in the game. I'm not sure if the person who made this game got their inspiration from Star Wars Episode 2 because there is so much political talk in this game that I zoned out for a very large portion of the story. Play if you want, but in my opinion, this is when the Final Fantasy games started going downhill for me.